Okay, one of the things Josh added to the car uh, this last weekend, this week, days are running together. This is the access hole the, for the battery venting. Uh, we have a waterproof fan. If you go to the, I can't remember the website right now, but they actually show it running under water. So it'll sit right behind here and we'll have a vent base on here and then there's a back panel and a drain hole at the bottom. The back panel prevents any water from getting in to go up and around covering the inside of the battery box. Um, now, what we put on here is, is kind of interesting, and Josh talks about that in a, uh, is going to be talking about that in an upcoming blog, so I'll let you find out about that from reading our blogs. We're building a uh, custom one-piece dash out of half-inch MDF board, uh, medium-density fiber board, uh, putting supports directly to our, uh, our subframe or our space frame. Uh, we've matched it to fit our windshield. Luckily, the windshield is out of a Miata. It made it easy to match because we bought a Miata dash to go along with it. We Miata dashes don't come apart that easily. So after sawzawing it apart, we then used it as a template to make this dash. Uh, over here, you can see the front panels that we're working on. I might be able to tip it up just a little bit. This is the front panel and goes about where the glove box normally goes. The curves that you see on here are going to be covered with felt and then epoxied, so that'll be the curve to the dash. The whole thing has to be removable so we can get to our uh, high power electronic shutoff switches, the uh, uh, kilovac switches, and the large fuses if there's any uh, problem. This is going to be the gauge cluster. We have two gauges and uh, uh, what's it called E Vision from Metric Mind. Uh, go to metricmind.com and you can read a little bit more about it and if you need one you need to talk to Victor. Uh, I think Victor designed and made them himself. They tell you uh, everything about your electrical energy storage system. They tell you how much energy you're drawing at the time, how much of a charge you have left. Uh, in kilowatt hours it tells you voltage, current, it'll tell you vehicle speed. Uh, there's 12 or 15 different things it'll tell you but you can see we have holes for two gauges. The second gauge we have for a speedometer. We're going to go ahead and use the speedometer instead of the magnetic pickup that you hook up to the output shaft of the motor is what it says in the directions, but it's actually one of the axles. We're going to, since we're going through a standard transmission, we're going to hook up the pickup to the standard transmission uh, pickup point for the uh, speedometer. And we have a speedometer, a digital speedometer. Turn signal lights are built into it and uh, bright lights. He's giving me hand signaling. So you can't hear me. He doesn't like being on camera sometimes. <clears throat> anyway, it's probably because of the way I act when I'm on camera. So there's our dash. Uh, what else do we need to show you tonight? I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave it at that for right now. Uh, we'll have some more updates really soon. And remember to check out our blog and uh, leave comments. Uh, we would love to hear from you. And uh, if you give us a chance, we may even write back. Thanks.